Yo, guys, what's good? <laughs> Ian Walker here uh, for another episode of Chilling Sketch Slash Sketching It with Ian Walker. I am here tonight doing some artwork on this wonderful Sunday night. I know it's the new year, uh, the first stream of January 1st, 2023. So, um, of course, the first of many in this year. Uh, tonight, I am going to be, I'm going to be actually doing a majority of the time doing a lot of artwork tonight. I am hard at work at doing and putting together my board game. I'm sure if you guys are following me on Instagram, um, you guys will see me put up some work uh, regarding a board game that I've been working on called Relics of the Realm. And, um, and so I'm going to be doing some work on that tonight, as well as working on a project that has just got started. If you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop role-playing games. And so um, I'm participating in, in a year-long challenge to create a mega dungeon. And what a mega dungeon is, for those of you that aren't familiar with uh, Dungeons and Dragons or, or, or tabletop role-playing games, is uh, what's up, DC? What's up, Coleman? What's good, man? Thanks for coming on. What's good? What's good? Um, if you guys are not familiar with it, it is uh, it is a bunch of rooms all put together, and you take your characters that you created in the game, and you go through the dungeon. Um, I create them myself, so I create the rooms. I fill them with um, um, encounters, um, multiple villains, things of that nature. I'm doing that. So what the challenge is called is called Dungeon 23, which is short for Dungeon 2023. And I am uh, I'm going to be creating one room of a dungeon per day, every single day for this year, 2023. So um, you'll, you're going to see me making those rooms every week when I stream. So whether it takes me five minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, um, on the weekend streams here on Sketching It or, and or Chill and Sketch, you're going to see me making that on here every Sunday so that, um, one, I'm being held accountable for it and I'm actually doing the challenge. And also so that I can participate and get it done. I have another game that I'm working on, too. I have created my own tabletop role-playing game. So all of these things will be included in that. For those of you who do not know, I have another account called Rising Legends Games. Um, that's what I have um, done as well. So that's what's going into uh, uh, the board game, Relics, the Rising Legends Tabletop RPG. Um, I have another project that I'm working on called Life Quest. Yeah, I've got so much in the pipe going on <laughs> and so much art that I am going to be putting together. Uh, it's crazy. So um, there is no lack of artwork that is going to be done on this stream this year, I guarantee. And um, I have you guys on the journey with you, with me, so I appreciate that. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna let you know is if you guys are interested in following my work, you like what you see, I am on Instagram.com as IDWalkerArt. I am also on other major platforms, art, program, uh, art platforms. I'm on Twitter, I am on Instagram, uh, Facebook, all IDWalkerArt. So if you wanna follow me and support my work, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, across here, the banner, as you guys can see, I also have a Patreon page, um, a, a, an art club that I have created. So every month I'm going to be creating a piece of artwork that is strictly for the patrons that are donating to me. Um, it's like 17 cents a day, like five bucks a month, 17 cents a day. I'll be donating and sending out art for those of you who enjoy what I do. I'll be taking these videos also and creating um, little mini courses and stuff as well for anyone who is interested in that. Um, as I get more patrons, I want to start doing uh, private art courses and lessons just for patrons who uh, donate and who are a part of the art club there. And uh, right now it's just drawings that I do and uh, digital prints and physical prints that I do but I want to expand that out to like stickers and stuff like that, okay? But um, people who uh, get into my Patreon will have first access 
to everything that I'm doing that I'm going to be putting out in public. So uh, it's right here across the screen. I'm scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Uh, www.patreon.com slash Ivy Walker. Okay. So again, I really appreciate you guys sticking around in the beginnings of that. If you guys are watching on Facebook, what's good? I appreciate you. Please hit the like button. Leave a comment. Say hello. If you're watching me on YouTube's, what's that? Comment, subscribe, like, hit the notification button, all that fun stuff. Subscribe to my page. I really appreciate and spread the word. And then if you're watching on Twitch, what's good, Twitch fam? Uh, thank you for hanging out with me and you uh, subscribe to me. I would be more than grateful for that. Okay. So thank you all for you guys who are joining me here tonight. Okay. And the biggest one for all anybody watching on any of the platforms, tell your friends about me. So, again, that would be appreciated if you do. So, now that I'm done with all the promo stuff, let's get started. Let's get started with the actual show. I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, dungeon room first. Um, with the dungeon 23 room, I'm going to go ahead and write the words. Hashtag. Dungeon 23. Day one. Room number one, 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 two, three. All right. So as I said before, this is going to be going into a um, all a part of a mega dungeon that I will be creating. It's got it. The concept of it is going to have like um, it's 12 months in a year, so every month is a level of the mega dungeon, so it's going to be a 12 level mega dungeon, right? <laughs> so it's going to be crazy, and every, every one must have a theme to it. I already have an idea and a concept that I think I want to go with, um, and a little bit of a prompt that I've created for myself. So, uh, let me put, put uh, first floor, first floor, okay. It's just saying that I drew something on here. I don't even see it, but we could, we could be out here. All right. So very simple. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, I'm always going to try to keep my eyes on the chat uh, in the chat box here. So please um, do so. I love to answer your questions, whether it be about art, games, things that I like. Yeah, of course, it's about pop culture, things that I'm doing there. Uh, let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on the chat here. Let me go ahead and start some music, too. I don't want to have, because I know there's going to be some moments where we're going to have some uh, have some silence a little bit, because I'm cause I always do this thing where I tend to be super focused. So I uh, so I always you know I always kind of get quiet. So I don't want there to be any any dead air, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on some, some electric music that I like here. Um, Coleman, man, if you're here in, in here, let me know if this is. Give me some input on the music volume. Make sure that it's cool. If it is at the right volume. If it's too high, if it's too low, I'd really appreciate your assistance with that, sir. This is one of my, so Masco, Maxo is a, uh, is a chill hop artist. Can you still hear me over the music? Because I don't want the music to be overshadowing my voice. I really enjoy this dude's music, electric music, electronica, chill hop, easy listening type, 
dropped it is a little my voice or the music okay let me know if it's okay I just turned it down some can you hear me good that's the most important thing I want to make sure my voice is getting through clearly here. Yeah, that's my bad. Yes, I should have this all figured out before I go on. I should be doing test shows and, uh, <laughs> and all that. Hey, wait, is this on cardio? This is not on cardio. That's better, but I can hear. Tut? What's that mean? I can hear tut. That's supposed to be you. <laughs> okay, I think that's supposed to be you. You need to get a bit of doubt, bro. <laughs> Coleman, man, I appreciate you always coming out here, man. Hanging out with me. That's cool, dude. Any questions you have, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Okay. So, what I want to do here, debating if the, the, the concept of this is I'm not supposed to feed too hard on this, not to do anything too crazy, but um, I want to... Man, I'm already, I'm looking at some uh, areas on here, and you got some people already coming up with some crazy, crazy designs here, dude. which is really cool. too much time on this first room what i think i'm going to do is do a room which is a an entrance so if i have the entrance here each square generally in the rpg community when you do one square it goes about five feet so this is going to be a 10 foot cross um, style entrance here Okay. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything that's fully connected. I'm just going to create um, create something. Just kind of see what happens here. Here we have a room here. Oops. I'm gonna have kind of like a two two options that the players can go through. After I get done, I need to make sure that I put this on my um, put this on my uh, uh, on my Instagram page, my role-playing RPG page. Okay, that's done there. So I like to go in and do the. We're gonna lower the opacity on this. 
on there. We're going to come in with some, with some black here, add another layer. So I'm going to make this a. Whenever you do your guidelines, oh, this is just a guide. started playing tabletop role-playing games, I was I would say I was about 16, 17 years old. I used to work for um, a video game company, or not a video game company, but like a video game store. Um, there was, it was a place called Software Etc. And uh, some of those some, some friends of mine used to play a game called Vampire Masquerade. I used to play that game. Uh, and I played a Vampire Hunter. Ransom. Pretty cool. Only played like two games of that though. Um, but it was a it was a cool experience. But my major experience playing a tabletop role playing game was uh, when I played Gamma World. Uh, uh, the next brother-in-law when I was married uh, to my ex-wife, her husband, her her brother, her brothers, and a bunch of friends of mine, and we all played that game, and that was pretty cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. Let me go here and put some, some rocks here. What I want to do is when they walk in through the corridors here, I kind of want there to be some kind of like dank, like water coming along the edges here. I want it to kind of have a musty type of smell to it there. Then I definitely have some water spots here. Again, I'm not supposed to over overthink it, so I'm just gonna draw up the entrance here. There's some decent sized boulders and rocks in here.
it's a very simple. Let's see if we get a rock here, kind of, kind of, uh, so I'm just kind of getting them through where they're trying to go. Maybe it could be some sort of, like a little bit of a challenge or something. Now, whether or not these are dungeon, uh, like a some sort of location or some sort of uh, like a, like an abandoned catacomb of some sort. That means to be seen. traditional uh, dungeon squares. I do the X's here or the crosses there to indicate the space of the shape. I do that here. What I might do, which I think may, would be really cool, actually I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my dungeon here, my mega dungeon. Game for the Rise of Legend games. I think I might make it a card set somehow. How cool would that be? Make it an interlocking card set. So there's a bunch of other tabletop role-playing games out there. Um, I played Gamma World and Buck Rogers. Uh, the GM that I had combined, my brother, my brother-in-law, he had combined both games in order to create a system that he ran. And it was so much fun. It was like high fantasy, high sci-fi combo mix. And I'll tell you, man, the storytelling and everything was absolute blast. Um, I have some of the best memories from playing these games. And so, but after I had left, uh, after the, uh, my first marriage dissolved, I had stopped playing for a while. Um, it wasn't until I want to say about nine years ago that I got back into it again, playing D and D. Uh, and I. Again, I was sucked back into the world 
Um, I love the idea. Of, I love creating your own, your own, whatever. Um, so the fact that I could, that I could do and create my own, you know, my own worlds or create my own dungeons or things like that, super intriguing to me. So it sucked me right in. And I, whenever I played Dungeons and Dragons, I didn't really, I never really used a lot of the source material. I would generally like, I like to create my own world, my own worlds, and things like that. And that's what I did whenever I played my games. I do that still to this day whenever I can. Um, but again, lately I haven't played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. I used to play online with friends, uh, but life got in the way. We all got families, you know, and those things are more important. Um, but I haven't, haven't been able to play with them um, as much as I would like to anymore. Uh, so I have been coming up with ways to learn to teach a solo play, um, solo um, tabletop RPG gaming, things of that nature. And all of those things combined got me to figure out ways that I can still have my, you know, take care of my RPG itch and be creative with my artwork and all of those things and uh, everything be okay. <laughs> so that was where Rising Legends came from. Rising Legends actually was a game I was working on even before my first marriage program. But uh, right now, it's really coming together. I have a very solid system, a very easy to learn system, and it's focused more on role play than mechanics. And uh, what I'm honestly trying to do is kind of move away from Dungeons and Dragons. It's more, Dungeons and Dragons is more of a, um, at this point in my life, it's more like a, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? It's like a template on uh, RPGs because it is, you know, the most popular game out right now. So I'm a critical role fan, you know, I enjoy that. But the problem with that now, because drag, uh, Dungeons and Dragons has become so popular, it's become very politicized now. Uh, a lot of drama behind it. And there's some things that are happening that, for me, is taking away a lot of the fun uh, of the game. So, you know, whenever I have a problem with something, I don't, I, I'm not one of those people who likes to complain about it. I like to just go ahead and make my own, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I go ahead and create what I want to create and make. And so, uh, with that being said, I just, that's what I've been doing. I've just gone ahead and just made my own, my own content, things that I enjoy playing. And making sure that I, I wanted to create a system that no matter what genre that you might be into, you can use my system to play the game. Um, the problem with Dungeons and Dragons is that it's very centered into the high fantasy, high fantasy genre. There's not much that you can do to, to, as far as that system is concerned, you have to do a lot of tweaking to it in order to match whatever genre that you were trying to create. Um, that's opening the door to a lot of third party content, a lot of things like that. That's based on 5e game mechanics. I'm like, you know, there's, there's, People, even my family, we play every once in a while, and the mechanics is something that really gets in the way sometimes. Aside from that, role play, the mechanics does do get in the way at times. So I wanted to just create something that was simple, and that any anybody learning the game for the first time could get into, and could really just kind of focus on. Focus on playing the game. Focus on developing their characters and giving a lot of players choice as far as what they want, what they want to do. So that's where that's where I'm kind of at with that right now. So that's why I created Rising Legends and, and, and kind of working on making those these certain things a reality here all right so let's see here really quick going back to the drawing here because i've not forgotten about it um things here what i do is when 
make a kind of like a marker here. Trace around this. I created a new layer on top. And then what I'm going to do is when I'm finished, I'm going to move it to the bottom underneath this here. This kind of resembles marker a little bit, so I'm using that. As the weeks, days, and weeks go on, um, I'm sure my style's going to change. <laughs> you know, but that's okay. So every day I'm supposed to make one of these dungeons. So that's all I'm going to do. By the end of the month, I should have one level of a dungeon completed. this color because I was going to go ahead and make them all sassy and you know you know all fancy and everything like that but I think I'm going to keep them more just sketchy pencil style when I do this when I do the um, this, the cross squares here though I think I'm, I am going to make those more tight and use a mechanical pencil type of uh, deal but other than that, I think it's cool. Right? Back to black. Okay. All right. So what are we gonna write about this room here? This is room eleven twenty-three. And it's like I said, it's just a room, so we'll keep it very simple. Um, I'm just going to write some quick notes, entry. This is a terrible pencil. So we got the entry here. We're going to go 
go on Pinterest really quick because you know your boy loves Pinterest. This is my reference, my go to. things I do love creating um, creating maps and, and dungeons and stuff it's so much fun um, these types of things kind of get my imagination going I'm like just like bro <laughs> let's go let's go look at this I just found one page dungeon I'm gonna make these like cards. Once, once I, um, once I create everything, what I'm gonna do, is, like I said, I'm gonna put them on the back of the trading cards, detailing what the dungeon is and all of that. This building underwater um, has. Do know that I want this okay one entry that would cave in upon no so they have no choice but to traverse the dungeon okay you know that that in and of itself is the encounter what are you going to do so that there is going to be the encounter okay at my Let's go. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Rising Legends game. 
to do with this one. Like that? What do you think? Cool. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, my phone died. It's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this so every every day that I do this
Yo, what's that one? We like it, we like it a lot. All right. So that took me about 45 minutes. More than it should have, but whatever. <laughs> I think I want to make sure that I spend no more than an hour on each of these rooms a day. Um, and uh, just, just going to go, go with the flow, y'all. Okay. So... The next thing to work on, so so some news on Pantheon, my comic book. I have decided that for 2023, I am going to uh, continue work on the Pan on the Pantheon graphic novel. Um, what I'm going to do though is release the pages of the first issue, which is pretty much complete in a black and white type manga type book, if you will. It'll just be black and white, and what I'm doing, what I'm doing is using that to get the word out about Pantheon and, uh, and let people know about it so you can see it every week on a webcomic. I will be releasing when I will have that webcomic up so that you guys can see it. Um, and then after it is complete, completed being shown, I will make it to print. I will have a colorist we are doing the colors for the book and I'll make it available for print. And in the meantime, I will also be continuing work on the book and using that to complete the graphic novel. Um, and as I'm completing the graphic novel, I'll be doing recordings because I am going to be filming. I want to make sure that I film uh, a how to create comic books course. Very nitty gritty, very much right to the point. No fluff, no muff, no motivational stuff. Because it's like this, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to create something, you're going to create something. If you got to hype yourself up and get yourself into the mindset and all this here stuff, maybe this type of thing isn't for you. Just saying. Um, I've, I've bought a lot of courses and things where there's a lot of uh, jargon being spoken. And I know they want to try to make it so there's a lot of content they want to have a lot of content there so they could justify their pricing but in my opinion it's not about how much content you have but the value of the content that you do have if you have one page of information that can make somebody a millionaire how much is that content going to be worth right so that that should go across the board. So when I when I create my course, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna be sitting here trying to convince you to get the right mindset and all of this stuff. I'm gonna say, look, this is what I use. You're gonna find out the, the, the things that I use, uh, everything that I do to kind of make it, make the book that you want to make, make the project that you're making. That's going to be from concept, idea, to script writing, to uh, page layout, composition, um, character designs, um, all of those things. So uh, I'm going to be going through the whole gamut. It's going to be my process and how I do it. Um, I don't want people to be stuck on my way of doing things. What I want is for people to get the information, to get the concept of how it's done, and make it their own. Create a workflow that's good for you and create something that you'll be satisfied with as a creator. And if you're into making comics and it's something that you want to do, I'm hoping that my my comic book uh, uh, program will be something that you can definitely benefit from. Um, that's going to be coming out in March. I'm going to start that in March. And uh, it's going to be, it is going to be paid. You have to pay. You know, if you're good at something, never do it for free. That was from the Joker. So, um, but it will be a, a course that will be um, sent to you, sent to you on a weekly basis, and um, and then uh, once a month, 
or on one of the courses, you know, we'll have to, you know, I'm still figuring it out. That's why it's going to take till March for me to release it um, or to start it. Because um, there's so many other things I got on the table. Uh, uh, on the table. But, uh, yeah. So, those are the plans for that. That's what's going on. Okay. All right. So, now back to working on relics. I have... <laughs> so, I'm taking a lot of this... I'm going to duplicate this group. What I'm doing is um, taking these images and I'm putting them together on a, main, on a couple of main sheets. Here are some uh, major main 11 by 17 sheets. And um, what I'm hoping that I'll be able to do is Print them out and um, we make these cards. do is I'm going to take these relics and then print them out um, to make the cards for the secondary playtest of the physical game here. So very soon I am going to be releasing the playtest, the public playtest for my game. That is going to be doing, done this year. So if you're interested in trying out the game and seeing what it's about, seeing what it's like, stay tuned. Because I'm going to be releasing that information as well to you. And so um, if you want to have an opportunity to try out Relics for yourself, it's a great fun game, man. It's a fun game. Relic 7, but whatever. Whatever.
this is one of my favorite relics. It's a super cool. I need to make three and two, three and a half pages of these. Of these, man. <laughs> so much to do. So it's going to be three and a half pages of this. So it's front, front, trying to do is once um, these print out once these print out um, they should they should come out fine on the backs of these the cut the the I'm sure it's gonna be off a bit but you know it is what it is I'm not gonna stress too much about it it is a it is a prototype So anybody got some plans for this year, some goals they want to accomplish? I don't celebrate New Year's or anything like that, but I do like the idea of getting a fresh start and, and accomplishing things that you know you weren't able to before. So 
You guys have anything you guys have in mind? Start my comic book. Nice. Very cool, man. You got your concept and ideas written out and everything like that? Kind of know where you want to go? What's your Instagram, dude? Oh, I think you said you didn't have Instagram, right? You didn't use social. Man, I'm not going to follow you and all your stuff, bro. I'd love to be able to see your stuff as you're working on it. Some, like, uh, you know, behind the scenes or some, uh, you know, process. Process content. Beyond image for tech. Oh, you're beyond image. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I know you. I know you. Okay. <laughs> well, are you, you going to be putting up some uh, some uh, progress photos on there of your book, or are you going to kind of keep it close to the chest? I'm gonna put progress on. Great, great, great. Good. I'm glad because I want to see. I want to see. I want to see how how far you get. One. I, want to, I like seeing the process of uh, other creators like myself putting in the work, man. Like, in the work room.
Five. The Relic of Unlimited Treasures. What I'm doing is I'm trying to use the moon. Previous cards, layouts. these out, cut them up. Seven.
My apologies in advance. I got. I live in a state with open carry laws, so the neighbors have been going ham. I was hearing this on New Year's thing, so I apologize if, if any of the noise in the back affects you. So as you can see, these side by side, and these print out, the cards are going to be on there. I really hope they turn out. I ain't gonna lie, because I'm a little terrified. They're terrified. Both sides, I like to cut them up. Those, those relics will show up really well. All right, give me a quick second. I need to get myself something to drink because my mouth is parched.
muted this whole. I just realized I've been muted this whole time. I'm sitting there running off the mouth. <laughs> My apologies. My gosh. Let's see. <laughs> Coleman, you've probably been on your focus. I didn't even realize I was saying nothing. All right. That's funny. This is one of my favorites. Relic of the Berserker. This is a crazy relic. A crazy one. Because of what it can do. And this was just all right. Sticking around watching this tedious process. Things got to get done, man. Hard life to work as a creator, right? So I'm hoping that by the end of uh, the end of January, this will be ready for public play tests. I've been playtesting this board game already out with my family, who really enjoy the game, which is great. Um, but you know, as they say, you shouldn't just rely on your family. Your family's designed to uh, hype you up in whatever endeavor you take on. So this is going to be good for me because. Uh, you know, real time, we get to see if this game is trash. Uh, and I get to see how they feel about it. All right, 11, 12, one hour and a half, so 
Uh, all right, so I'm going to rip it up. So I appreciate all of you guys coming here and hanging out with me. It's super cool. Um, very cool. I appreciate it a lot. Um, if you've liked what I've seen, please one tell tell your friends about me and my channel. Uh, my channels. Instagram, Facebook, I mean not Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. You can subscribe there, please. I would really appreciate that. And uh, subscribe there so you'll know when I go live and all of that. If you get subscribed to my Patreon Art Club, once a month you get free art sent to you in a digital form in your email or uh, if you're at a higher tier you actually have the physical art sent to you I'm working on getting more patrons because i would like to do some patron exclusive content for those who donate to my work and that doesn't thank thank you, thank you. Good, good. We'll finish that page. you guys thank you so much for joining me tonight and hanging out and calling me man i appreciate you as always hope you have a good 
rest of the night. I will definitely be looking out for your stuff here, man. Uh, in a few coming weeks, I'm going to look forward to seeing that project. Um, anybody else who's watching, or who watches this later, thank you so much for coming in and joining me as well. I appreciate it. Um, on Twitch, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you'd like to donate uh, to the art club, be a part of the ID Walker Art Art Club uh, for 17 cents a day or five dollars a month. You can have art sent to you digitally or have that shipped to you in the manner of a physical print. Um, and there hopefully will be more stuff down the line. There's stuff become more available, stickers, etc. Um, art and talent classes just for Patreon exclusive only. Okay. Uh, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe at the notification bell to follow me and my work and be notified when I go live. As well as Facebook, you guys can follow me on the heart of Andy Walker, ID Walker, pardon me, there. And uh, I just have it all going on. So, again, appreciate it, Mucho, for you guys coming and hanging out with me. I will be back next week again, continuing on with these, uh, with this artwork that I got going. Got a lot of work to do this year, and I'm going to start really digging in and focusing on the process instead of the goal. No, not the goal. There's always goals. The process is of the destination. So, uh, you know, when you go through a destination, or go towards a destination, or you enjoy the process, you meet a bunch of goals while you're getting there. So, I'm just going to be enjoying the process and enjoy getting to where I want to get meeting a lot of these goals, and I appreciate those of you who have been patient enough to join me in this art journey. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to call it, and uh, I will catch you guys next time on Sketching with Ian Walker and the Chill Sketch Podcast. I will talk to you guys soon. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night.